We're back here on Giants.com. John Schmoke with you, and now we're joined by Josh Morrow for this week's Giants Insider. First game back against the Panthers on Sunday, Josh. How'd you come out of the game, and how do you think you played? Um, obviously, I like to do better. I think everyone, everyone after a game, we're going a few plays back just that I feel like you could have done maybe some something, something different, maybe uh, more productive. But overall, it felt good to just be back out there and competing, flying around. But obviously, we didn't get the win, and so that's uh, that's the mo for everyone in here. What's the key for a team on a quick turnaround to go from Sunday to be ready to go on Thursday night? Try to get as physically, um, you know, recovered as you can. Obviously, with a short week, but really, you have to hone in mentally because you only have a few days rather than a whole week to prepare uh, for the different. Um, elements of the game, different parts of the field, you know, uh, depending on what their offense is trying to do. And so take care of your, yourself as best you can physically, but really mentally get, get as sharp as you can in the few days you have. You're familiar with Philly. What makes them so tough to deal with offensively? They have a lot of weapons. You know, they're, they're solid up front. Um, they have a good quarterback, which that's, you know, huge. They have good receivers, good tight ends. Um, good backs. They, run, they all run hard. They can catch the ball in the backfield. And so they're dynamic offensively. They like to go tempo sometimes. So um, really there's no, no weaknesses across, across their offense. So, you know, hopefully we could just uh, line up, out execute them, fly around and, you know, limit them and uh, get this win on Thursday. When you have an offensive line like theirs, that's played together a lot. They're experienced. We'll see about Jason Peters. He got banged up last week. How do you try to outmaneuver a group like that and what makes them tough to try to beat? Um, you know, you, you try to find some weaknesses to whatever it is, some protection or some scheme they have. And really, you know, it's, we never really worry about them. We just worry about our execution and just how we attack their offense rather than what they're going to do. And so, like you said, they have good cohesion up front. They've been together for a while. But, I mean, really, it's just it comes down to one-on-one matchups. So we just have to win those. Best luck Thursday night. Appreciate it. Thank you.